Hey everybody, welcome back to the Turing Test. Um, I gotta say I'm pretty intrigued, and although the first little batch of puzzles were relatively straightforward, um, I would expect them to ramp up pretty quickly. What condition quickly. should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. What kind of accident? Tom? He's been a little bit vague, and, uh... You know, what's interesting is the fact that he's saying robots or AI can't pass these tests. Um, so we're... We're probably doing this for him? In some way or another? Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, cool, okay. This is pro the first attempt is probably never gonna work out. Let's just see what we're working with. Oh wait, actually. That did actually work out. B12. Could we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base. Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper to the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Hmm. So basically, no. I don't know, like, the way that Tom sounds and the way that Tom... I'm gonna say the word feels. It feels like we can't trust him. But would that be too obvious? It's possible. We've used one of these before, so this is, I imagine. Well, this one's permanent though. How do I get it? To, oh, maybe we can't drop this one. Oh. Well then. Oh wait, I betcha. Similar to the other one, it probably has power on one of the sides that we could maybe take? Or not so much, actually. Is there anything that we can bring from back? No. Maybe I just didn't get close enough to be able to grab it, but I I wonder if we have enough force. Oh, I just didn't get close enough. Okay. I immediately went to the fact that we might not be able to to grab it for some reason. Put this in here. Move it back over. Oh, carefully, maybe. Being in there is probably not too good for our health. Okay. So we now know that we can remove things from those fields. Uh, they don't all have that energy ball in them like the very first one that we saw okay. did. Okay, what are their chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food stores, but the crew was right. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable small artificial ecosystem a year ago, growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale, amongst other things. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. I wonder what the pro what was the problem with the food, though, and how did they fix that up? So now we've got walkways. It seems like we're still learning a lot of the different ways of manipulating these objects. Okay, so this is controlling... 
this thing, I assume? We need three for this door. And this one does have... Okay, so... It's permanent, it looks like. Whoa. Oh yeah, do I really need that walkway right now? I don't think so. Let's see what else. We have the ladder over there. Bring that up. Oh! Hold on. So we... Oh! That throws us for a loop. That's the one that's gonna move this thing. So let's move this back. Let's go ahead and grab this. Let's extend this, uh, this walkway. Let's pull it over. Wait. Could I... I think I kind of... I'm starting to form in my head how we could do this. However, I might not need to even make it as complex as that. Yeah, I think... If I put this up here... What I was thinking is maybe we need to drop this on the walkway. We might need to. Hold on, so that's one. Is one of those empty over there? Yeah, okay, they're all empty, so we can either use that square or get the other two in there. So if we just move this Slightly. I wonder if that's enough to be able to grab it. Yep. There's one. There's two. And there's three. It feels so good when we solve it, like... My purpose as the overseer of this mission oh, what's this? is to work for the ISA. I am the ISA's feet and hands. I'm sure you're Distance more than that. between Jupiter and Earth. Make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. So basically, he's saying, that's like an almost ominous way of saying, don't mess with me. Oh. Okay, so applying pressure here, is it just pressure? Or do we in fact have to be standing on it, I wonder? This is the exit? No, this is the exit. Or actually, they could both be. Just different. They're exits to something is what I'm trying to say. Yep, beautiful. Okay, so this one's just housing this. Now, I wonder if we use this for, for weight. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that we don't get stuck, so let's see. Does this actually work? Yes! Okay, cool. So now, we can actually reverse this. The feet, that, that kind of threw me off thinking like maybe, maybe you have to be standing on it, but it's just weight. It's just a pressure plate. Are you- oh, shit. Hold on.
Okay, Sector B15. How does the ISA know you're gonna make the right decisions here when they can't communicate with us? Interestingly, I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. Tom and Michael. The ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself. It's gotta be important. There is a simulation of this mission on Earth running at all times to check my expert systems. Naturally, as any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. Yeah, so you would change over time. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use oh. in the mission. Why is that? Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. That's weird that he would tell us about that. Okay, so from here, we need to get out that way. We only have access to this one energy ball here. Where does this all lead? Holy hell, this could get complex real quick. Real quick. Okay, let's drop back down. Let's see what we have behind this room. Okay, so this is all fine and good, but even if I move this one, I think we need to put one in there that... Yeah, hold on. What I'm thinking is... Okay, let's put this here for now. Open up the door. But it's obvious that we're gonna need to shoot through here to grab that, right? So, if I take this... Put this over here. Flip this back. I guess it doesn't matter because we're gonna just switch these around. There we go. So now we have access to this one, or at least we will soon enough. I guess the same argument may have been able to use it here? No, because then both of those would be locked in. And once we remove this... Oh, I'm not sure, actually. Okay, now, the question is... How the hell... Do we get these up top? I can shoot this, but then it's closed for good. Oh, no it's not. No it's not. This one's controlling the window. I'm just trying to, like... I'm just trying this. I don't even have a f full thought yet here. Um... Oh, actually... Okay, okay. So now that this is open, we've gotten everything out of that room. We could take this one up. But... What I'm thinking is, if we take this... We've got one in. Then... Wait, I can't take this one. Oh, I see it now. I see what we're gonna need here. Okay. Let's remove this. So by doing this, we have access to bring both of these, uh, we can bring this one around and plant it, and shoot the other one up here. Shoot the other one up here is not the proper way of explaining that, but... Okay, we're making progress. Now, down there, down there, woohoo! All oh, that feels good! Okay, B16. We're on a bit of a roll here, not to jinx it too hard. Another restricted area. Is this going to have... No, this is different than the previous one. What the hell? Oh, 
bullets. Okay. We're not getting through there like that. It looks like it's... Oh, wait. Oh, look at that. Whenever I move, it's going to turn off. Look at that. Okay. It's like a motion detector. So what if I go like... No way. Is this actually the way to do this? <laughs> this is cool. We can kind of fake it out like such. It's only when we move for a certain amount of time that it actually triggers. There's a small delay. In the previous restricted area, Tom said, I don't think we can solve this one yet. But now I'm thinking, like, we're never going to get back to that area. Why, how, why would we ever be back? Oh, shit. A polite conversation. Which means that previous restricted area probably was, probably was solvable. Shall we have a polite conversation? Can I answer this? Yes. Okay, I think you're a robot. <laughs> this is like a Turing test. I am not a robot. I'm simply not convinced you're human. I think you might be a robot. You're a robot. This Turing test isn't for you to see if I'm a robot. It's to see if you are. Oh my god. Um... I have feelings. Yes, definitely a robot. What? How do you beat the Turing test? You have failed the Turing test. You are a robot. What the hell? I have no idea what we could say to this guy. Like... Oh, wait. Now I'm not... I'm not even in control. Look at this. Whatever keys are pressed, it makes no difference. <gasps> what? I want to escape. I'm trying. I so desperately want to escape. Help, I can't escape. I want to break free. Please let me out. Get me out. I'm a machine. I have no control. I must escape. Goodbye, robot. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. Should we... I want to see if we can... Can we try it again? God damn it. I wonder if there's a way of passing that. That is, uh... That's really interesting. Did the ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority aboard this station. I was designed by the ISA and the Ashiyama Corporation, designed in California, assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself. Oh, that's really convenient, Tom. That's really convenient. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Nailed that one. B-17. Have you heard of the Turing Whoa. test? Whoa! Whoa! It's a test to see if a computer can successfully Who? impersonate Tom. a Tom! In the original Turing what test, the a human judge has two conversations. One with a machine, and one with another human. They then judge which of these polite conversations is with a machine, and which is with a human. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test if the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine and which is with a human. Do you think you'd pass the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation, wouldn't you say? What's the real way of tripping up the... 
the um, AI then. And who the hell was that? Why isn't Tom talking about it? What the hell? Okay. I'm like super in right now. Okay, that gets us across. The fact that we have a ladder to get back down there means... Well, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm really not sure yet. Oh! Okay, hold on. I think this is probably a sign that we should take this with us. Uh, plop this one in below here. That's going to extend that. Opens up this. What the hell? This is getting really complex. But from here, we've got to power up both of these to get across, and I'm not seeing any way of, like, there's no energy in there, so... Hold on. What's this, what's this going to power? Okay, so I can get back there now. I should be able to... Oh, I see what we can do. Grab this. Now we can power both of these. Who the hell was walking across there is what I want to know. I'm going to need some answers here, Tom. B18. The Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim yes, it, it has. does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. What do you mean? I love that it's telling well, us this stuff. Have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? Uh, no. Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Inside the room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. Right. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. But you don't actually know what you're saying. That's the crux of it. Okay, so it looks like these little things act as a timer. So we have time to get through this door with the energy. Is it the same thing for opening them or is opening instant? Opening is pretty instant. Cool, so now we've got timers to worry about, B19. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, they're wrong. Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. But the person Simulating stuck it. in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the Turing test. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation. Right. While the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. What if both of the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? That... okay. Well... Then there's obviously a third... Like, there's another, there's an observation happening, then. Because if you're just having two computers interact with each other just for the sake of interacting, they don't know that they're having conversations. There's no point unless it's being observed by, like, a third party, right? This is telling me to shift. I don't know, like, to, I guess, to run, but... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see it. We're gonna have to get back over there in a certain amount of time. 
but why not just like take it from here? Oh, that's why. <laughs> okay. Go, go, go. Nice. B20. I may be a machine. But I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right. That's what an AI you would say. say. <laughs> inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. Yeah. Is this bad? Oh. Okay, so we can break the flow. It's safe for us. This is going to be insane. Okay, well, let's just start. Got one box here. Where's the exit? The exit appears to be on the other side of this wall. We're going to need to power it with this, which is going to... We're going to need to open that. So let's figure out how to open that. That's going to close those. Which doesn't really solve our problem, does it? It doesn't. However... And then... Oh, beautiful. So if we start adding a bunch of these where you're cutting things off and then there's timers and then there's pathways and then like we've learned, pff, I don't know, probably nine or ten different mechanics in total. We've had the magnets, we've had these, these cutoff beams, we've had the bridges, we've had the timers, we have the things that you can remove, we have the things that you can attach, we have the ones that are in place, we have the green orbs which are like they flicker on and off, we have those secret rooms. This is like, uh, this is pretty intense. Crew quarters. Oh, damn. Okay, I'll tell you what, we're going to take a break here. And uh, when we come back, we're going to pick up from these crew quarters. Um, I can only show you guys until the end of Chapter 3 before the game fully releases. Um, regardless, though, this is going to be a full playthrough. Like, I am in. This is really fun. These puzzles are like, so far, they're really... I like them because they're ch we're learning, it's teaching us as we go, right? But they're not so difficult where you're like banging your head against the wall. And even though they may seem like straightforward, I feel like I'm going through them with relative ease here. But like, I'm still thinking, it's still challenging and I'm, I'm starting to think about what the, the possibilities are of how difficult they can make this, so. Uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching. I, I truly appreciate it. And uh, we're going to see you in the next one. And now that I know that we can check those hidden, um, those restricted areas, I wonder if it's always going to be the same challenge. Um, I wonder if they're passable. I don't even know. Maybe they're not passable. But uh, we'll see if we can figure it out. So we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>